A parole panel made the shocking decision to recommend freedom for Manson family member Leslie Van Houten yesterday. Tonight, the grandson of her victims is saying, not so fast. Tom Waite has the interview you'll see only on CBS2. It's kind of surreal, I mean, to be honest with you, the whole thing. The grandson of Rosemary and Lino LaBianca describes the moment he learned Manson family murderer Leslie Van Houten was recommended for parole. Tony LaMontagne says every parole hearing is an emotional roller coaster. So yesterday, I get, get off of the, the phone at the parole hearing, and, and the first thing I do is I just lay down on my couch, start bawling. It's, it's, it's a, just a flood of emotions. Tony says the panel's decision sent shockwaves through his family. What type of decision the parole board really actually made? They're making a decision to allow a murderer to come back into your neighborhood, my neighborhood. The last time they were in my neighborhood, they killed my family. Through this gut-wrenching saga, Tony says the stories of the victims, like his grandparents, Lino and Rosemary, have been lost. Lino was a grocer and growing his business when he and his wife were taken. I've grown up my entire life with this as part of my family. Um, hearing stories from my grandmother, who is, sorry. <laughs> Tony says as he has gotten older, he's made this sobering realization. My grandfather was 44 years old. His wife was 38 years old. I am 42. So I, I grew up with these stories. Oh, my grandfather was an old man. He had lived a long life. That would be like if I were to die right now. The panel's decision will be reviewed by the parole board, and then the governor gets the final say on Van Houten's bid for freedom. Tony and his family say they will fight to keep her locked up. I'm Tom Waite, CBS 2 News.